What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another Universe's Commentary. Um, this episode is Tails vs. Coco, and as you can see, we have a new intro. Um, it's the Sonic Forces theme song, because it's so good. I'm not too hyped for Sonic Forces, in fact I'm kind of disappointed from what I've seen so far, but... I mean, the theme song is so good. <laughs> and someone commented, it's like, Hey, you, uh, Sonic Forces goes with Universes too. So, I figured it was one of those memes, so I looked it up, and yep. Sonic Forces does go with everything. Oh, I love I love those memes so much because it's so creative just seeing like how one song can fit so many things and just sync up to the clips and all that. Like the Attack on Titan theme or something. So it's it's just cool to me that the Sonic Forces theme fits with all that. So just so you guys know, I wasn't doing it for a meme. I legitimately um really like the Sonic Forces theme song and I did it because I thought it was cool. I had no clue. It was a, uh, blank goes with everything meme, so, just so you know. Um, but anyways, this is Tails vs. Coco. Um, this is my least favorite Sonic character versus one of my favorite Crash characters. I hate Tails so much. All of Sonic's friends, just, mm, like, Knuckles is cool. Shadow's okay, I like Shadow, Shadow's pretty cool. As long as, whenever he's not being an edgelord, that is, he's pretty cool. Like, 06, he's decent. Uh, Adventure 2, he's awesome. Heroes, he's okay. But then, in his own game, Shadow the Hedgehog, he's like, Ugh, I got guns. Ugh, Maria. My memories. I'm so emo. Ugh. And it's, it's no fun, so. Um, I don't like Tails. Just his speech pattern, his voice. Ta I don't think Tails has ever had a good voice actor. They're just all horribly, horribly annoying and ear-wrenching. I have nothing wrong with child voice actors. There doesn't need to be like an adult lady voicing a child all the time. Like Tara Strong doing Timmy Turner. Childs can... Childs? Children can be voice actors too. So, I have no problem with that. It's just, they pick all the worst ones for Tails. You know what, they should pick... They should pick Noah. I forget his last name. The guy who voiced... The kid who voiced Chowder. But he's probably older now. His voice has probably changed. Because Chowder's voice would totally fit Tails. It totally would. And it wouldn't bug me one bit. Uh, as for Coco. She's a super underrated Crash character. Through this research, Coco is actually superior to Crash. This is a rare occurrence where a side character is superior to the main character. And I kind of enjoy it. Coco is actually better than Crash. Coco could beat her brother in a fight. Like, if I did a Bandicoot Battle Royale, Crash would be the first to go, because Crunch is obviously stronger than Crash, but... Coco is too, and she's smarter, and she has a bigger arsenal with inventions and stuff, and she can use Crash's Titans too. Coco can do everything Crash can do, and more. Coco beats Crash in a fight. It's crazy. Um, so I'm really excited for the Insane Trilogy. I hope they develop Coco's character more. Because I always enjoyed her levels in the original trilogy. Um, the water, the jet ski levels, the tiger levels where you ride Purr across the Great Wall of China. I enjoyed the plane levels, just lots of stuff. Coco's a cool character. And then they turned her into Jimmy Neutron with the Mutants games. Um, not too fond of that decision. Um, I kind of liked her more innocent, big brother, yay, how she like Crash, their nice brother-sister thing they got going on. Not gross incest, if that's what you're thinking. No, that's gross. But like, just happy sibling friendship, if that makes any sense. Like Dipper and Mabel. Crash and Coco were like Dipper and Mabel back then. And now Crash is just a weirdo, and Coco's like, ah, recycle butter! That was my really bad, not even close, can't even tell it was a Jimmy Neutron impression. I can't do Jimmy Neutron, my voice is too deep. <clears throat> but yes, I'm really excited for the Insane Trilogy. I'm excited for Sonic Mania, super excited for that, because that looks really good. Um, uh, when it comes to Sonic Forces, I just really... Oh, I'm really disappointed at what I see. It's another boost game. I mean, it, it was good the first time. Unleashed, then Colors, but that was like almost an entire decade ago. An entire decade ago. 
and they're still using that boost formula. I mean, I know they tried to do different things with Lost World and Sonic Boom, but that's why I keep coming back to Sonic, even though they were both terrible and didn't work at all, at least they tried something new and took a chance, and it was cool, even though the games were completely terrible. Ew, Lost World, ew, Sonic Boom, ugh. But at least they tried, so I can admire that. That's why I keep coming back to Sonic. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm always keeping an eye on the dude. And whenever they find something that doesn't work, they just go back into their little safe space with the boost to win, which is sad. They should just keep experimenting instead of taking little dips in the water. They need to jump in that pool and swim. <laughs> so yeah, that was where my thoughts on Sonic Forces. I just really don't like the boost gameplay. Because the hallways are so linear. There's nowhere to explore. I mean, yeah, there's alternate pathways, but those alternate pathways are just more hallways. You're so constricted and thin. You're supposed to be running around at the speed of sound, not running forward and no turning at all. <laughs> I can't stand it. We need an open world Sonic. Like, like imagine, imagine if you could... I mean, not like a, not like, ugh, I'm thinking, not like Breath of the Wild or Sonic Boom or anything, where it's, mmm, having a hard time describing it. More like, mmm, I, I don't know how to describe it. Anyways, um, I just want room for Sonic to be able to run around like crazy. Uh, and now I'm stuttering. I basically said everything I want to say, um, I'm excited for Sonic Mania, I'm excited for the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Not excited for Sonic Forces, but hoping it does something, because there's still a lot that needs to be revealed, but so far, I'm definitely not going to buy it. It doesn't look interesting. But I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Uh, episodes are going to take a bit longer for now to get out, because I'm working on a bunch of stuff. And look at that, the commentary actually made it to the predictions this time. <laughs> But yes, um, it will take me a bit longer to make the next episode and all episodes after it because I'm going to be working on more stuff. I'm going to be working on some stuff for the Battle Royale team and some other videos that aren't universes. Um, like I'm plotting to do a sort of guest character wish list for Tekken 7 because they announced guest characters, so I'm going to do that. But anyways, this is Leopold the Brave, signing off.